Hi everyone, I'm Miss Alma, the Children's Librarian with the Metropolitan Library System, and this is my puppet, Granny Goose. Hello children, I love you. Oh yes, I love each and every one of you. Oh, and we're going to have fun. We have rhymes and songs. We're going to act out. Yes, and we would like you to play along. Yes, join us for fun. And Granny, do you know what our theme is today? Oh, you look like a queen. Yes, kings and queens. It's royal and also rhyming. Oh, let's explain what rhyming words are. Rhyming words are words that sound similar. It's like, uh, goose. Bruce rhymes with goose, yes, and loose also rhymes. Goose, Bruce, loose, yes. Well, rhymes are fun and they're good learning. So, where should we start? Oh, let's start with hello. You know, the slow, fast, high and low. You want to do the rhyme. The one that's called bread and butter. Yes. Are you going to do it with us? Oh, let me sit down. I want to watch. I'm too tired. Okay. I'll see you later, children. I love you. Don't forget. I love you. I'll be right back. Thank you for staying. It, the rhyme goes like this. We clap. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as slow as we can. Ready? Hello. Very good. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as fast as we can. Ready? Hello? Did you do it? Were you faster than I? Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as high voice as we can. Hello! Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as low as we can. Hello! Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as happy as we can. Hello! I'm glad you're here. So glad you're here. You know, we need to get ready for the king. King Honey Bear, and the song is one, oh, I don't know if you know it, although it's been around for hundreds of years, written for a king or queen in England. Because it's so old, I want to explain some of it, but you can help me do it with your hands. Yes, we're going to use our hands to tell the story in the song. It goes like this. Sing a song of six, you know how to do six? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Sing the song of sixpence. What is pence? It's an old word for money or coin. Sing the song of sixpence, a pocket full of rye. See how I made a pocket? And rye is wheat, or it's like wheat. A pocket full of rye. Four. Oh, you can do four. 20. Have you ever counted to 20? Hold up both hands. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Keep going. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So it's two of those to make 20. Four and 20 blackbirds are baked in a pie. When the pie is open, the birds begin to sing. Make birds with your hands. They can sing. Okay. That they began to sing. Wasn't that a dainty dish? What does dainty mean? Well, it means fancy and small. Dainty dish to set before the king. See, we're getting ready for the king. I'm going to do it all together. I hope you'll join me. Sing the song of six. Pence a pocket full of rye. Four and twenty blackbirds are baked in a pie. When the pie is open, the birds begin to sing. Wasn't that a dainty dish to set before the king? Did you do it? Would you?
you like to do it again? We do it better? Okay. Better be ready, King. <laughs> All right, I'm ready. Sing a song of sixpence, a pocket full of rye. Four and twenty blackbirds are baked in a pie. When the pie is open, the birds begin to sing. Wasn't that a dainty dish to set before the king? Oh, thank you for doing that. He's going to help sing the second verse. Don't go away. I'm going to bring out King Honey Bear. Announcing King Honey Bear. Do, do, do. Here comes the king. We're back. Thank you for staying. Welcome to my castle. This is King Honey Bear and this is the Queen. Oh, it's so good to have you. We have a special song. Yes, and this second verse is adapted. It's Honey Bear's um, words. Yes. Okay. We'll explain the meaning as we go along. The king was in the counting house. The counting house is where I count money. Yeah. You see, the castle has a lot of buildings. Yeah. And a lot of rooms in those buildings. But I don't want to count money. What do you want to count? Honey. Well, we can't say jars of honey, so you'll just say honey because Money and honey rhyme. Yeah. Okay. The king was in his counting house, counting out his honey. The queen was in her parlor. That's a special room where guests come and you serve food. The queen was in the parlor, eating bread and honey. The maid was in the garden. In, hanging up the clothes because they're wet. They're wet. Along came a blackbird and kissed her on the nose. Oh, honey bear. <laughs> I think we should do that again. I think we could do it faster. Yes. The king was in the counting house counting out his honey. The queen was in the parlor eating bread and honey. The maid was in the garden, hanging up the clothes, cause they're wet. Along came a blackbird and kissed her on the nose. Oh, honey bear. <laughs> you can do that with your children too. Kiss them on the nose. Yeah, let's do a rhyme. Honey bear wants to act out the part of old King Cole, but he's really changed the words on this one. He doesn't call for the pipe and the bowl and the fiddlers. No, no, no. He wants to read. Yes, yeah, story time! <laughs> so you can do this. We'll teach it to you to do tonight at bedtime. Yeah. Okay. Old King Cole. Old King Cole. You want me to say it or you gonna say it? You say it. Okay. Old King Cole was a merry old soul. Ha 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 ha. And a merry old soul was he. Ha 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 ha. He called for his queen. He called for his children. He called for his books. Let's read three. He called for his books. Let's read three. All together. <laughs> Shall we do it one more time? Yes. All right. Old King Cole was a merry old soul, ha 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 ha, and a merry old soul was he, ha 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 ha. He called for his queen, he called for his children, that's you. He called for his books, let's read three. Yeah, three. <laughs> it's fun to play with you, honey bear. Yeah, it's so much fun. Let's do something else. It's time for you to call your guard. Do you remember what he's called? He's a knight. A special guard for the king who protects the castle is a knight. Yeah. And what is our knight's name? Sneaky Squeaky. Well, let's call him. Call him Sneaky Squeaky. Um, honey bear, we need to go get him. 
time to say goodbye. Oh, but I like being king. I don't want to say goodbye to my guests. Goodbye! Sneaky. I know you. This way, then. Oh, good. I get to see everyone. Yes. I want to show them. Well, look at the camera. This is Sneaky Squeaky, the knight for the castle. That means I'm the guard. I keep everyone safe. Yes, and you have quite the outfit. I'm a knight. Yes, let me point out what you're wearing. This is called the helmet. This is armor. And what is this? This is my sword. <laughs> so you're ready if you have to go to battle. Yes. Um, so, have you heard us talking about rhymes? Yeah, and I made a one all myself. All by yourself? Yes. A little one. Just like you? Yes. I want to hear it. Okay. The knight had to fight. Oh. What words rhyme? Knight and fight. You're right. That rhymes too, right? They do. Can you think of anything else that rhymes with fight? And those other words? Yes, let me show you. It's a kite. <gasps> a kite. And tell us what a kite is. A toy. It's a toy? Well, it plays in the wind. Okay, you let the wind take it up. It's on a string. Yes. Uh-huh. And the wind blows it around. Yeah, you have to hold on tight. What if you don't hold on tight? Well, the wind may come up and go And it may take you up higher and higher and higher and higher. Sneaky, come back here. We want to play horsey. Okay, I love to play horsey. Oh, I want anyone to see my horse. Chop, 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 I'm coming. Sneaky. Hi everyone, see my horse? He has armor on too. Sneaky, we want to tell them about how we made the armor you're wearing and the horse is wearing. Okay, it was easy. It was because we used stuff we have at home. We first drank a lot of hot chocolate. That's right. Yum yum. And we ate cookies and we found that the packages with the hot chocolate and the cookie bag had silver on the inside. So I used it to make my helmet and armor. And sword with red tape. Yeah, and ribbon. Oh yes, and ribbon. Red ribbon, of course. It was fun to do. You should do it at home too. It is fun. I hope you'll make armor for your teddy bear. That's a great idea. Okay, well, I think a great idea would be for you to teach us uh, a horsey rhyme. It's great knee rhymes for children in your lap. Yes. Okay, and we're going to do it here, right? Yeah, right here in, in place. But you can do it in a lap or standing or even moving around the room. And this one is called Father and Mother and Uncle John. Very good. And what do we do that's unusual? Oh, you mean we fall off. Do, do you fall all the way? No. Just pretend. Yes. Okay. Go ahead and teach us. Father and mother and Uncle John went to market one by one. Father fell off, mother fell off, but Uncle John went on and on and on and on. Your sword likes, likes to um, get caught. <laughs> You mean my hair likes to get caught in your sword. Yes, let go of my hair, Sneaky. <laughs> I should do that again. Let's turn the horse around. Then your sword can be on that side of the horse. Okay. Ready? Are you ready now? I think they're ready. Go. Trot, trot. No, no, father and mother. Oh, yeah. Father and Uncle John went to market one by one. Father fell off, mother fell off, but Uncle John went on and on and on. How 
how about Sneaky makes it his own royal ride? Can you do that for us? Oh yeah, we can make it the king, the queen, and the knight. <gasps> okay. The king and queen and knight went to market one by one. Father, I mean king fell off and queen fell off and the knight went on and on and on and on and on. Where are you going, Sneaky? I'll be right back because it's time for tea. Tea time. Oh, good. It's night time. This way. Everyone, I want you to meet Princess Hegelina. Hello, everyone. And Princess Hegelina is having pretend tea with us by singing. She would like to sing, I'm a little teapot. And I would like you to join me. Ah, well sing it first and then they can join you. All right. Okay. I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here is my handle, here is my stout. When I get all steamed up, then I shout, tip me over and pour me out. Ah, so if you know the motions, you can do it with Hegelina. Go ahead, Princess Hegelina. I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here is my handle, here is my stout. When I get all steamed up, then I shout. Tip me over and pour me out. The end of the song. Hey, have you been listening to us? Learning about rhyming words? Yeah, I can rhyme. You can rhyme. What words do you know? Let me see. I'm going to ask you what rhymes with dog. Frog. Frog and dog rhyme. Can you think of another animal? Yeah, hog. Hog, dog, frog. How about ring? What rhymes with ring? On King! Very good, Angelina. Were you guessing along too? Yeah, they were. Oh, you could hear them. Yeah. <laughs> I want to make up more rhymes. Oh, I do want you to make up rhymes for songs and stories. It's a lot of fun. And it is good learning. Yeah. What rhymes with my name. What do you mean? What rhymes with Princess Hegelina? <gasps> well, Hegelina, um, not every word has a rhyming word. No? No, but you can still have fun playing with words, even if your name doesn't rhyme. Yeah, I can. And I want you to show anyone this castle. Okay, I will, but you'll have to go so I can point. Oh, I don't want to drop you. No, we wouldn't want to drop a princess. Goodbye, everyone. Thank you for singing with me. Okay. Thank you for staying. The castle was easy to make. It was fun and uh, a good family project of things you have around the house, things that you might throw in the trash or recycle. You'll notice the two towers are paper towel tubes and the straw is holding the paper flag. It's in a base of a box lid and these little boxes are easy to find. They're food boxes, breakfast bars, cereal, mac and cheese box, after uh, you've used the food and you're going to discard the cardboard box, you just carefully unwrap it or unglue it and uh, turn it inside out and tape it together and you have a box like this. And you assemble your castle. 
and color it. Oh, when you find a white box, that's really good because they're so easy to color on or mark on. Oh, the paper isn't a problem. You don't have to buy. If you notice a pretty envelope color, you can save it. The gray or red, yes. Just use your imagination. And that's what's wonderful about crafts. It's just one more way to build our brains. And if you need ideas, there's lots of ideas. You can get books from the library. Yes, you can borrow, but you can also download. You don't have to wait or get to the library. Go to the Metropolitan Library System's website. If you don't know what it is, it's metrolibrary.org. And you can download ebooks. But better than that, use the Overdrive's app named Libby. Libby, excuse me, L I B B Y. Libby is easy. Once you have it, you can call up the Metropolitan Library System. You connect, of course, with your card number or account number. And, well, then after that it's easy. You download the book and you have it right away. You don't have to worry about returning it. It's automatic. Oh, my goodness, I just saw the time and it's time to say goodbye. Children, help me say goodbye with doing our rhyme, bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say goodbye as slow as we can. I like slow. Ready? Good. <laughs> Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say goodbye as happy as we can. And I am happy because I'm so thankful you spent the time with me and my puppets. And I sure hope you'll make things and you'll use rhymes and songs and play with words. Yes, it's fun and it's good learning. Use the Libby app for ideas. Bye-bye.